The following is our technique for in-office needle arthroscopy of the shoulder with a chromioplasty. The advantages of the technique include the ability to obtain real-time assessment of pathology, avoiding complications of anesthesia, and a fast recovery. Disadvantages of the technique include a steep learning curve initially. The patient is positioned on an exam table with the back of the bed inclined roughly 75 degrees and such that the posterior, lateral, and anterior aspects of the operative shoulder are easily accessible. The shoulder is prepped and draped in the usual sterile fashion and rested on a padded male in slight forward flexion and abduction to accommodate entry into the glenohumeral joint. Relevant and anatomical landmarks are identified and marked, as well as the standard portal sites. Following injection of local anesthesia, a 2 mm stab incision is made with a number 11 scalpel to establish the posterior arthroscopic portal, which accommodates the 1.9 mm 0 degree needle arthroscope. Diagnostic arthroscopy is performed viewing the glenoid, the humeral head, the labrum, the long head of the biceps at its insertion, the rotator interval, including subscapularis and MGHL, the articular surface of the humeral head, and the insertion of the rotator cuff. Next, the anterior portal is made under direct visualization. Using a spinal needle to ensure passage superior to the supraspinatus tendon and perpendicular to the long head of the biceps tendon. A probe can be inserted to evaluate the integrity of the structures. Attention is then turned to the subacromial space. A 2 mm shaver is inserted into the anterior portal to debride the subacromial bursa and expose the undersurface of the acromion as well as the anterior and lateral edges. The bursectomy proceeds in an organized fashion from anterior to posterior and from medial to lateral. A 90 degree ablator can be used to cauterize any remaining tissue. Prior to initiation of the acromioplasty, the acromial branch of the thoracoacromial artery is identified about the medial aspect of the CA ligament and it is cauterized. Utilizing a 2 mm burr, an acromioplasty is performed by gradual resection of anterior and lateral bone spurs. Laterally, care is taken to avoid the muscle fibers of the deltoid. Portals can be sealed primarily using adhesive wound closure or with simple nylon sutures. The pearls of our technique include ensuring adequate analgesia with local anesthetic and hemostasis. Pitfalls include negligent portal placement leading to difficult visualization and instrument utilization.